Memories and more. I... here I am. I am at the end. The actual end. And I'm just looking at the credits on the IMDB now, and uh, Rarity and Luna have the same voice. How did I never realize that? Wait, what? Like the same voice actress. Whatever, okay. <laughs> um, this is the last thing. There is nothing else. No more specials, no more normal episodes, no more short- uh, I mean, there's other stuff of this property, like there's this, like, comics or something. I don't care about comics, whatever. I've never read comics before. I don't like reading. <laughs> Even just- I don't know. And then there's, there's the other, like, this is like the fourth generation, so there's like three other abominations. I'm not fucking watching those. <laughs> then there's this new thing, Pony Life, but that, I watched the first two episodes of that, it just kind of sucks. Um, it's actually funny, it's what I thought the show was gonna be, like, when I went into episode one, that's pretty much what I was expecting, is what it was what Pony Life was, you know, just silly ten minute segments with condensed jokes and silly cutesy moments, and a simple lesson at the end. But they went for that weird, like, story beginning, and yeah, but now I'm at the end. The actual fucking end. There is nothing more. And I don't know, if they release more sh shit related to this thing, this show, may maybe I'll watch it, I don't know. Sure as hell I'm not going to, like, make a reaction to it though. I just, I don't, I set out to watch the entire show, and with this, with finishing this, that's what I've done. So, that'll be completed. Um, <sighs> Again, as I've mentioned, there are still compilation stuff I want to do. So I'm still, there's still a whole bunch of things I want to make. It's just going to take a while, and so I'm not going to be uploading regularly, just whenever I finish a project. Now for this thing, I don't know what I think this is going to be. I mean, because each of them has been one about one of the main characters, but it's like Twilight's the one that's been reminiscing with all of them, so I don't know. I guess maybe this will be Twilight just reminiscing on everything with all the different characters. I don't know. It's it's not going to be anything big, I mean, really. Because, I mean, there, there's no way they're going to top that completely fulfilling, satisfying, proper ending. I mean, that's pretty much as a perfect of an ending as they could have got they could have gotten um yeah now i watch it all right so they got all the memories so now they gotta get their memories oh no oh it's another really short cold open though not complaining just i don't know kind of weird oh yeah last time i'm listening to this fucking theme song I guess support from editing, but it's not like I just listen to it, I just skim through. It's so weird, I feel like I'm gonna miss this, even though I've hated, like, everything. Oh yeah, this shit on Twilight Hatches Spike. <laughs> Got those orgasm noises, of course. But then to get the magic of friendship to do it. And there goes Spike. So it's actually not gonna be about Twilight, necessarily. Uh... I guess at least these memories are going by a lot faster. Yeah, they still never explained, like, where he came from or where his parents were. Because everything his dad said was just all made up. That is one loose end they never actually tied up. Like, yeah, that, that's something I think they should have concluded in Season 9. Like, I don't know, maybe get rid of the trivia episode. Like, a worthless one like that. Oh, now here's her with her communist <laughs> regime. Oh, studying could only take me so far now. It's magic of friendship. Shut up. <laughs> Oh no, murder. Wait, is that how she, the episode ends? She just like teleports away? Oh, she just abducted through a rainbow. Mm, Discord being the villain. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, race ending fight? That just made me think she was like saying kill all the Pegasuses or something. Like one of the pony races. Oh, I, re <laughs> I remember that edit. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> Dramatics monologue with butt shot. That is like the epitome of this show. <laughs> <laughs> There's another butt shots. Just butt shots and monologues. Yeah, friends. Friends, good. I guess this is a sweet moment, I guess. All wholesome. I don't know. I do remember that season 5 finale. It's probably the best finale for like any season. Or at least the one that was like the most entertaining to me. Wait, why did she throw strong in there? She said like all the element names, but she just threw in strong. But so now they're gonna include these two as well. Wait, they already showed this clip. I guess this is just extending it. Yep, there's her killing her parents, spurning t turning Spike into a big boy. I really am waiting for this to end now though. <laughs> as bittersweet of a feeling as it is for this to end, it's, it's still not very entertaining. There he goes, sucking on his dick. His dick tail. Hey, cutie mark. Oh, is this the first episode? Just gonna stay in the thing. Oh, okay. <sighs> Study the magic of friendship. Blah. This nightmare, bitch. Scaring. 
Yeah, this is really just gonna end on a boring note with this recap shit. I mean, that's what I should expect. Whatever. Alright. There's only like 10 more minutes left. I'm so close to the end. What the fuck was this episode though? Some kind of weird ass dream? <sighs> Okay, I don't care. This clip's going on for a while. I guess this was supposed to be one of those big emotional moments, though. So there's... Now they're just gonna go around the town and get everyone else, I guess. Now they're gonna add just... Just any final recap memories. Oh, uh, yeah. That's exciting. Sticking her ass in Fluttershy's face. <sighs> Twilight. To-do list. Okay, this is boring. All the memories. Okay, where is this going now? I mean, they already showed this scene. Is this just copy-pasted from the... Wait, what? I actually don't remember what happened with the coronation shit. Like, what they were so concerned about. If they were late? Or is this, like, after... After that scene? Where they give it to her? <sighs> <sighs> of course it ends with Pinky being a shithead. Wait, what? Uh, evil moon bitch. Ugh. Yes. Main characters. Oh, fuck off. Whoa, dude. Did they, like, show all of these clips? Or did they, like, show their little attributes? Okay. Why are we watching? Why are you going through this again? Yeah, I feel so dead inside again. Fucking stupid ass eyes. They're my friends. Oh, fuck. Oh my fuck, this is so stupid. Was this seriously how the fucking second episode ended? This dumbass bullshit? It's just magic of friendship. It's too powerful. Is that- No wait, there's still something. What's the last scene? Always oh, making- Actually no, a book like that can be finished. Because eventually they'll all- they'll all die. So eventually they'll have been- <laughs> There'll be no more memories. Because they'll all be dead. Oh, of course. Song. Wait, was this already on the show? Or is this like a new song again? I genuinely don't remember this at all. But I'm pretty sure this isn't new. No, it's- It's just another stupid shit pop song. I'm in the last minute. So close to the end. End it, end it now. And that's the end. Holy shit. I fucking did it. <laughs> I watched fucking everything. I watched every normal episode, all a hunt fucking 221. I watched all the specials, all the Equestria Girl specials, all the Equestria Girl shorts, all the movies. <laughs> all of the fucking everything. Oh my god. Gosh. Uh, holy shit. This has been a long fucking journey. <laughs> and it, it really is a bittersweet feeling. I feel like I am gonna miss watching these, even though I hated them. I hate- like, I- I can think of five good episodes that I genuinely liked pretty much all the way through. Um, Cutie Mark Chronicles, Magical Mystery Cure. What was it called? Cutie Remark Part 1 was- I just remember it as season 5, episode 25. Then there's the beginning of the end, part 1. Or no, the ending of the end, part 1. And then the finale was a well-made finale, but I still wouldn't say it's that great of an episode. It was still pouring throughout a lot of it. Just a very, very satisfying and well-ended and well -ended thing. And this episode is just kind of whatever. It's just Spike and Glimmer realize that they want to give th add their own memories and also add um, Celestia and Luna's memories. And, and then it's just them sort of looking at the book and be like, hey, we're all great friends. And then it's like, Yay, we're friends. Obviously, this isn't really the ending. Um, but yeah, so the, re the real ending is still the last problem, but whatever. Um, there are, again, still some stuff I want to make. That was English. <laughs> There's still some stuff I want to make with this, still some little some compilation stuff and a final- I want to, I'm gonna make a final video just like compiling all my thoughts and all my everything. But that's gonna take me a while to make because I'm gonna want to script that and, you know, make it- like it's that these- like all these fucking videos are basically just shit posts. <laughs> They're like half shit posts. But that- I'm gonna try to make it like a- like an actual concise thing of all my thoughts instead of just, you know, whatever bullshit comes off the top of my head. I still feel tired. Oh, I guess I should give this episode a rating. Um, this one wasn't as boring as a few of the other ones, like, not as boring as the Applejack one, but still had nothing. Uh, three and a half out of ten, I guess, is what I'll say. <sighs>
I still cannot fucking believe I'm actually at the end, and I fucking did it. Uh, oh yeah, and overall the show, I mean, like, I, I guess I'll give this, like, a... This, this show as a whole, I will give 4 out of 10, because it has its moments very rarely. The vast majority is a boring piece of shit. There's even some story stuff that just is dumb and plot holes and it doesn't make sense, but it's mostly forgivable in that sense. It's just overall, it's not fun to watch. I do genuinely think this ha this show has, like, so much potential, though, or like, had so much potential. Like, I've been thinking about ways that the show could be, like, reworked, like, adding in hints about, about Discord in Season 1 and making that, like, a built, built up to a reveal that could happen at the end of the season or something. Like, I don't know, shit like that I think could have made this much more interesting to watch, but whatever. I mean, th the kind of changes that I would make would also probably significantly alter the identity of the show, so then the people who like it right now probably wouldn't like it if I if it was like made under you know the style that I'm thinking of <sighs> I mean I set out to watch this to see why people would like this that was the goal I, I think I sort of see it now in some ways I mean there's some episodes where I still don't see what anyone gets out of it where they're just so boring but I sort of get the whole thing with the characters changing and like and the kind of relationships and how there's this idea of friendship and how that can be relatable and all that shit and how it could be all wholesome and stuff I mean there's some people that said that I've heard in like, you know, just random YouTube comment sections on random videos that they're like, oh, it has a rich, intricate plot, and it's like, no, it doesn't. It's a bunch of episodic stuff with the occasional little episode of something, something more, you know, for the season premiere and finales, and with tiny little growth, character growth moments sprinkled throughout. It's not like it's Avatar, where it's this big, long, well-made story that's been planned from the beginning. It's, yeah, it's not like that. I mean, like, I'd say, it's like, Gravity Falls, I'd say, is like a show that pretty much anyone can get something out of. Um, and then, like, Star is, like, it's, like, you have to be a specific kind of person, but I still think a lot more people, I still think a lot of people could get stuff out of it, though, at this point. Um, since the show ended with such a terrible ending, it's, like, hard to recommend. But then this show is, like, you have to really be a specific kind of person. Well, either a kid or a specific kind of, you know, adult to want to like this. It has its moments, it has its place, it has its fandom. The fandom is up. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm just rambling now. There, there's so many things I can mention right now that there's there's no point in doing that. Um, overall, though, I don't know. What's what concluding statement? I don't like this show. I haven't liked it from episode one. It's not some immaculate masterpiece that everyone will love. It's at best an above average kids show. At worst, an obnoxious insufferable piece of shit. I don't know. It's an okay show, but certainly not anything special to me. Oh, this is so weird. I just still can't believe I'm at the end. There's no more content to watch. Well, official content. Obviously, there's still fan art and porn and all, <laughs> all that shit. Yeah, let me just go watch every fucking porn video of this fucking show. <sighs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't fucking believe I fucking did it. Oh, I have no further ending words. Um, horse pussy. <laughs>